What role do the gut microbiota not play in health? They help us to metabolize drugs that we take, uh, to synthesize vitamins that we need and can't make ourselves. Uh, they help in the extraction of energy from food. So, and to really regulate our, our, our body in so many ways, including uh, weight. Diet definitely plays a role, and complex carbohydrates are what the, the gut microbiota really prefer. Fiber of certain types, for example, that our own cells and bodies can't digest, so it gets delivered to the bacteria, and that's really their mainstay. Refined carbohydrates that we eat are not healthy, not only for us, but perhaps even that's working through the gut microbiota. Diets that are high in animal uh, protein or animal products seem to be uh, have a negative influence on gut microbiota versus plant-based foods, for example. The gut is the major surface of our body to recognize this bacteria, and therefore. The, there are many structures along the gut that work as the window of the immune system. When the immune system does not tolerate properly, the bacteria gets inflamed. And when the mucosa is inflamed, is what is being called the leaky gut. There are several diseases of high impact in society, like metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, and some also neural diseases like Alzheimer or autism, even depression, some types of depressions, where the malfunction of the mucosal barrier symptoms seems to play a role. The bacteria that live with us are really a part of our body with genes that provide substances and functions for our body. Thus, for this reason, clinicians, we need to care about the gut microbiota as we care for the pancreas or for the lungs or for the heart. We are now understanding that um, care, caring about the gut microbiota, the bacteria living, means thinking in the foods we eat, The gut could actually be involved in the health of the heart and in promoting atherosclerosis. But again, it comes back to diet. Not only can we perhaps change diet or replace the gut microbiota through fecal transplantation, as we learn more again about bacteria, we can now have a targeted direct molecular approach to perhaps uh, uh, altering specific bacteria that are causing some of the disease states. The metabolic syndrome can be reverted with, uh, with uh, improvement of the bacteria we have in. The increase of allergies early in life is dramatic all over Europe and North America and coming also to other societies in continuous development like in Mexico, Argentina, or many South American countries.